What are you doing? Woo! Trying to make an entrance. Did it work? All right, I don't know. That's I don't think it's working, bud. I think this might be broken. What is going on, Garage Couple fans? Welcome back. On today's episode, we have so many different announcements. First of all, we are going to announce the winner of our LED headlight giveaway. Now, we're going to go ahead and pick a person at random using an online program, just so it's not biased, and we're going to go ahead and ship it out on our own dime. Next, don't worry, if you missed out on that giveaway, if you're not the winner, we're also giving away another product. Now, these are hood shocks that go ahead and support the hood, just like any other normal vehicle, so that when you pop it open, the hood goes up. Now these are for a JK, but you can also make them work on any other Jeep model. Mm -hmm. Now, on top of these two things, we're also going to finally announce which headlight we are going with. Now if you follow our channel, around three weeks ago we installed two different types of headlights on the front of our Jeep. An RGB style and one that is sequential. If you haven't seen the video, where do you have to go? Right over here. So why don't you go <laughs> ahead and check that out before you continue. Now we're gonna decide which one we like more and we're gonna explain to you exactly why we did so. And? Last but not least you guys, we are gonna finally tell you guys the results of the tire shine. We tried four different tire shines. On Chem eight different tires. There we go. Trinova, Chemical Guys, Black Magic, and? Meguiar's. <laughs> <laughs> so many. <laughs> Megulars, Megawars. Got a lot of background for that one. My gosh, if you if you don't know what we're talking about, check out our video about our plastic trimmer store. We literally said Megawars by accident, and there's literally comments with thousands of likes on them trying to correct us saying it's Megawars. That's right. Well, so we are going to give the results of the tire shine. We'll give you a walk around, show you what they look like now, and tell you which one is the best. So stay tuned to check out all that awesome content planned and also to enter our next giveaway. <laughs> I couldn't do an entrance. I thought I'd do something spontaneous. You caught me good. Woo. Good work. <laughs> Today is a really special day because after all of this work, I get to go home and make a video with Aline. Not only are we going to tell you exactly which headlight we chose, but we're also going to pick a winner for those Halo headlight, the giveaway. So stay tuned to check that out. Cross your fingers and let's see who wins them. Let's do it. Literally my favorite part after every single shift. Look at how beautiful it is outside and look at how beautiful that Wrangler looks. I mean, can I be greeted by anything better after a long day of work? I am seriously loving this hard top that we installed in our last episode. If you haven't checked it out, this one is by Patriot Fastbacks and it's been absolutely amazing. Just look at that. I have the windows rolled up right now and look at how quiet that is. I don't have to shout anymore. You could clearly, clearly hear what I'm trying to say. And this is amazing. Just take a look. So I can't wait to get home to go ahead and announce the winner of the headlights. We are also giving away one other item today. So make sure you stay posted for the results. See you in a moment. All right. Look at this. What's up, little Aline? Little Are you excited? Woman. That's right. So check this out. That is the hardtop that we installed last week. Please, please check out that video. This thing has been a game changer. We could not be more happy with this product. Made in the U.S. by veterans, handmade, and it's like, well, it's what we like, like the hear. good old days, huh? Like the good old days. So here I am organizing the garage. I think I'm gonna put those shop lights along this beam because I'm rarely gonna need them when the garage is open. This is currently the setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put one, two, and three and see what a difference the space makes. Now, we haven't fully finished unpacking, so hopefully I can get some of that done now as well. Let's do it. Three boxes down and in less than 10, 15 minutes, I have some shop lights. Oh yeah. What was that? Oh my gosh, you caught me. 
Now I just have to figure out how to wire this thing nicely as well as include a switch so I can activate it from the doors. I would like one on either side. I'm thinking probably a wireless one. So I haven't actually shared with Aline which one I have decided to keep. Why don't you take a guess? Why don't we see if we have the same idea which one we want to keep? All right, on three, we will point to the right one, okay? okay? One, two, three. Yes. All right, cool. We are going with the sequential LED headlights, which also have this amazing white daylight running light function. Let's talk about the reasons why we are going with this side headlight. Now, personally, I think it looks a little bit more classic. Although the colors are super cool, legally we cannot run some of those colors and Greg and I are all about functionality. I think that this one looks amazing. I love that it's sequential and I get the option. It comes in regular white and then when it's going in a sequence, we get the yellow. So I get a little bit of colorfulness in this option as well. Greg, what do you think? So the way I look at them, they both project very similar at night. They both put out a ton of light, more than I will ever need. Now this one has a much brighter daytime running light function, which is something that I'm really interested in. It seems like this side is just really dim. Now on top of that, we pretty much rely on these headlights for blinkers. We don't have any other blinkers on the front of the Jeep. I mean, the metal cloak fenders you see here have these little blinkers in them, but we have yet to wire them for them to work. So we pretty much rely on those and we're unable to, honestly, it looks like this is so much brighter and catches the attention way more. So I definitely think that there's a factor of safety that those offer that these ones do not. Now, those also connect to the phone, which, you know, I don't always want to have my phone around. Like I like the idea of that one just have being plug and play and just going from there. Now, this one definitely would look cooler at the shows that we go to, but realistically, I'm gonna, I need the functionality of this one way more. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what the daytime running light looks in comparison to one another. So, I mean, man, that is really cool on the right side, but honestly, it does not beat the classic look of those headlights. This is so bright, like absolutely insane. It puts out a ton, a ton of light. A lot of the roads we go on do not have lights on the street, so it's really important that our headlights can carry us through. And if you're wondering where you can get yourself a set of these headlights, these are by Super Re. I will put the links in the description below, just so you can check out all the nice Amazon reviews. Now, moving on to the next bit of the video. Why don't we talk about the hood shocks, go to the tires, and last but not least, do our headlight giveaway. What do you think? Sounds good. Oh, I, I actually, why don't we change out this headlight real quick and okay. see what it looks like. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can't wait to put this one in. Go all in, go all in. Last one, don't jinx if you see. Now, more than likely, we are also gonna give this away with the box that comes with it so you can connect your phone to it. These are pretty much brand new. The other one is never used. This one's pretty brand new. We are gonna go ahead and give this away at a future episode, so stay along for the ride so you can have your opportunity to win this. Let's keep going. It's been less than three minutes. We're already at this point. Time to put in a new one. Them what we just why don't you just tell them what we did right over there right over there so Greg shined the light at me to see which one was facing up because the first time we did it we did it the wrong way what are you doing no we did it the wrong way the first time. like he's telling me I'm saying something wrong I'm wrong 
Can you tell them? No, 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 nothing at all. So he shined it at me to see which way was up, and I'm, I'm doing the same thing too. <laughs> Put it back in. Okay. Let's keep going. Literally eight minutes into the install. We've done this so many times, we got good at it. You you do the front, I will do the back. So I did all the wiring from the back end. Alin is finishing up putting in the headlight from the front end. Now I'd like to talk to you guys about our next giveaway. If you want to be entered in this giveaway, go ahead and comment in this description below your name, your vehicle, and your location. And again, just like this video, we'll go ahead and we'll do a drawing and we'll pick out a winner to win these hood struts. Now these are also from Super E. You could find the link to this in the description below. Now, as I mentioned earlier, what these things do, and we actually have not installed these ourselves, but it comes with an installation manual here, as well as two of these shocks, which go underneath your hood, so that when you unclip your hood, it automatically opens and lifts up like many of the newer luxurious vehicles. So this is actually a really nice mod, and apparently it only takes about 30 minutes to do. It fits most Jeep Wranglers, the JKs, it plugs right in. Other ones will require a little bit of drilling, but I don't think it's anything that's way too difficult. So if you would like to be entered in the giveaway for these hood shocks, go ahead and comment what I mentioned in the description below. Now up next, we're gonna test out how these headlights look. About done. We're just about wrapping up right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and talk about the tire shine. Right after the tire shine, we're gonna announce the winner for our LED headlight giveaway. This is probably the fourth set of headlights that we've given away by now. We're hoping to give way, way more, so make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and comment below if you want to be entered for this one. Let's see how it looks. Putting in those final touches now. Those last three screws. What kind of screwdriver is that, Aline? T15. And don't you ever forget it. I won't. Wow, I think it looks so much better with the matching. I think this Jeep is totally coming together. What do you guys think? I did that whole thing by myself, right? Yes, you did. That's right. That is some good, strong work. Under arrest. I know you're not supposed to spray this on your body, you guys, but these mosquitoes are wild. Wow. Wow, that looks amazing. Holy guacamole. Wow, I think we picked the right ones for our Jeep. More like for my Jeep, pup. False. Why don't we see the turn signal? Let's see them. Wow. That sequential is literally out of this world. <laughs> It looks amazing. <laughs> Moving on to the tire shine. What we did was we picked four tire shine products and we put it on an individual tire on the TJ and the JK. And we followed it over time to see which one would last and look the best. So the four products that we used, you guys, was Armor All, Chemical Guys, Trinova, and last but not least, Black Magic. Okay? If you have not seen the video where we put the applications on all four tires, the link will be above for you guys to check it out. Now let's talk about what we found. So let's start with the JK. Womp womp womp, little baby 35s. They look so tiny. I'm not good at winks, but that means something good is coming, you guys. Something good's coming. Anyways. As far as the JK, initially we noticed it looked good when we put it day up. 
but very quickly we found out that it came off. Now we couldn't figure out if it was because of the chemical itself or it's because my tires need changing and they are super old. But all four products came off of the JK. As you can see, it looks like I need a tire shine. <laughs> so basically it returned back to this within only a couple of days. It did not last very long at all. They basically all look as they did without any tire shine application whatsoever. I mean, you could go ahead and see and compare it to that initial video. They literally all look identical. Now, what about the TJ? Moving on to the TJ. Wow, those headlights, oh. All right. Unfortunately, you guys, we found similar findings. It did take a little bit longer with the TJ, but none of these four products upheld what we were expecting these tires to look like. As you can see, so they lasted more or less one week, but these tires are brand new. And even the factory look of them still looks a lot better than the JK. But unfortunately, again, none of the tire shine has held up. Now what we initially did, and I'm going to go ahead and show you each of them. So you could see that they're all roughly the same. So what we initially did was we bought one that was like $2, one that was $5, $10, $15. Now, what is our recommendation to our generous, generous followers? No recommendation yet. We're actually asking for a recommendation from you. We would love to do a round two of tire shine. So if you guys have any recommendations, let us know, drop a comment below, and we'll do a round two with another set of products. Yeah, that's, I mean, if you think you have one that will outlast the others, we are happy to test it out for you. Now, so currently our recommendation, just buy the cheapest one, and go from there. It doesn't really matter. They all kind of do the same thing. And realistically, like, does your tire really have to be shiny on a Jeep Wrangler? Yes, so tell me what you <laughs> recommend. <laughs> the time you have all been waiting for, time for the headlight giveaway. We are gonna be using an online random picker. For those of you that put more than one comment, it's only gonna read one. And you have to be in the United States to win. Let's get to it, you guys. And here are the headlights as well as the hood shock. Let us take a look at these beauties. They are packaged and ready to roll to the new winner. I'm including JK adapters as well. As well as the anti-flickers. Getting YouTube comments. 224! 224 entries, guys. That is nuts. Awesome, guys. I love seeing that. And without further ado. Good luck, good luck, good luck. And... Dennis Kyog. I like that last name, you what guys. What is that comment? Love my hard top. Always put it on for winter. Upstate New York can be cold and snowy. Would love the lights. Been thinking about upgrading from the stock. Well, congratulations, Dennis. You are about to get that upgraded. Hope it goes handy in New York. <laughs> well, we can't wait to send that over to you. Just go ahead and shoot us an email, garagecouple at gmail.com, and we will go ahead and send this out ASAP. That's right. Make sure to stay tuned, you guys, for all this fun content. If you're interested in the other giveaway, please make sure to comment below the state that you are in and your name, and you will be entered for our next giveaway. Also, we are having a huge giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, so please make sure to hit that red button below. Last but not least, make sure to check us out on Instagram, at Garage Couple. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you soon. My name is Alin, and this video is now done. It's done. Congratulations. Thank you, Greg. Where's my diploma? Amen.